All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over why uh, you can't use your pre-existing AR barrel uh, and or bolt or receiver with our bolt action ARs. So let's get into it. So first things first, let's get into what we actually make. Uh, for those that aren't really quite clear on that, we make a true bolt action AR, an AR-10. Uh, what that means is it's a three lug bolt with a 60 degree throw. Uh, that pins to a semi-automatic lower. So the bottom half is a semi-automatic. This is a standard AR-15 lower, trigger, grip, everything, right? So you can take our bolt action upper off of this and then slap a semi-automatic upper on top in its place and shoot semi-automatic. So you can do both with one lower, okay? Uh, but it is a true bolt action. It is not a push-pull. It is not a disabled gas block. It is not a modified uh, charging handle. It is a true turn bolt bolt action. So let's get into how we accomplish that. The first thing would be uh, our receiver, okay? Your standard semi-automatic uh, AR-15 or AR-10 receiver is going to have a bolt carrier group, a charging handle, uh, your ejection port, and dust cover, right? Pretty straightforward. With our receivers, you have a ejection port and a bolt raceway, okay? so. This is not a modified semi-automatic upper receiver. We didn't take a semi-receiver and mill out the side for the bolt raceway. It's its own design. This is our own product. It's a proprietary piece, okay? Hence, the reason why you cannot take our upper and stick a semi-automatic semi bolt into it, okay? So let me grab this one down here again. All right, so here's your semi-auto bolt carrier bolt. Here's our receiver. Doesn't work. Doesn't make it a gas. It doesn't make it a gas gun. Doesn't make it a bolt gun. It doesn't work. All right. And then if we took the semi-automatic upper and took our three lug bolt, same thing. So we, we can't sell your bolt to stick in your gas gun to make it a bolt gun. Not gonna happen. Two different things. All right. Proprietary. However, they do again pin to a AR-15 or AR-10 lower. The next thing would be uh, the extension nuts. Uh, with your semi-automatic gun, you've got a bolt that is a multi-lug bolt, and with that, you would have an extension nut on the back of your barrel that would accommodate that bolt. Okay, so uh, to accommodate our three-lug bolt, the extension nut is going to be different. It's going to be a three-lug extension nut, meaning you can't take your AR-15 barrel and stick it in our receiver with our bolt and make it work. They're two different things, okay? The next thing would be the barrels themselves. Your gas gun barrel has a spot here for a gas block. The gas hole's been drilled in there. Then you have a gas tube that would attach and come back here to help cycle the action, right? Our barrels are just barrels. There's no gas system. There's no gas port, no gas hole. There's no gas block, nothing. There's no gas system, period. Uh, the only similarities would be how they attach the receivers themselves. So our our barrels would attach to the receiver and then you have a barrel nut would come over the top cinch down to the receiver itself and then the hand guard comes over the top and attaches to the barrel nut okay um, meaning you know you can use pretty much any hand guard that you want to they're not proprietary the, you can swap it out to whatever you want okay um, so those are the differences but again it will pin to a semi-automatic lower all right but the upper itself the components in the upper are proprietary all right, so hopefully this clarified um, the difference between our true bolt action AR uppers and complete guns uh, versus a standard AR. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. Follow, like, and subscribe for all future content. Thanks.